Hey guys, happy Sunday. When I'm filming this, it's actually Thursday right now. It is dollar Thursday at Goodwill. I am working on a couple of new projects for a new room that I'm doing for one of my friends next weekend. Actually, we're filming it this weekend. I'm gonna DIY a few pieces for her room that are really textured. So we have like a lot of stops to make today on a way to goodwill because i'm looking for some lamps that are dollar day i want to basically steal the insides out of the lamp instead of spending 15 ish dollars on the inside of a lamp i'll just steal it from one that's actually working so if you're ever looking for lamps at goodwill always bring a working light bulb to test it out so that you can make sure that the inside of it actually works so i will see you guys at goodwill Okay, so I found another link that we can use, but we gotta see if it works. So let's see. So I was looking online and I found this cane and basket supply place that had um, a hand woven cane. It's so cool. All of this, all of this is hand done, hand woven. So my idea is to kind of make two sizes of candle holders. One would be like, like this size. That would probably be like 12 inches maybe. And then I want to do like an eight inch one. More like this color than, than the darker color, even though this okay, is- So I'm back from all of my shopping adventures today. I ended up finding three lamps at Goodwill for each a dollar. They were all blue colored. Also found these glass pieces for our candle holders. That little shop had the most amazing cane webbing. So the first DIY and thrift flip that we are gonna do today is the natural cane webbing candle holders. I think these are gonna be really simple to do, but make a pretty big impact. So we have our glass containers that are gonna hold the candles. So we're gonna take the cane and wrap it around here so that we can measure exactly how much we need for each of the containers. So I'm just gonna place the glass right at the bottom edge of the cane and just wrap until I completely cover it so that I know exactly where to cut it. And I want them to overlap just a little bit so that I have enough to actually like bind the sides together. Now that I have exactly where I want the edges to overlap, I'm just gonna slip it off of the glass. Using some twine, I'm going to bind the edges together. So taking the edge of the twine, I'm gonna go in and out, just weaving those two edges together so that they stay in place. It's actually pretty difficult for me to just stick it into the holes like this. So I'm gonna take a big yarn needle and try and weave the twine through this and then weave the edges together with this. Yeah, that's much easier. So before I finish sewing all the way to the top and binding that edge, I just want to cut off some of the frayed edges so it's exactly ooh, it's exactly the same as the glass. So I'm going to slip it right back on. Ooh, fits like a glove. And I'm going to go around and I'm going to cut right along that edge. And then just finish sewing it up. So to make sure that especially the top edge all stays together, I'm just gonna take some Mod Podge glue and just using a paintbrush, I'm just gonna paint the glue onto the inside so that it all stays together. Probably gonna use a spongier brush. This is taking forever. I think this one's gonna work a little better. More spongy? Oh yeah. So once that dries, that's pretty much it. You can absolutely stop there you're gonna have a beautiful cane covered candle holder. Or you can go one step further and actually create a circle out of the cane for the bottom and sew that together as well. So it really becomes an entire sleeve for your candle holder. I think I'm gonna stop. I don't think that it's necessary. I think it gives the same effect. It is a simple DIY but I think it's gonna make a big impact in the room. So let's put a candle in it and see what they look like. 
this room DIY lamps so you guys saw that I found these two existing lamps that work at Goodwill they were both blue so we found them for a dollar a piece so we're gonna be using the insides or the, the guts to these lamps so we're gonna be using the heart and all of the actual mechanical part to the lamp and the cord stuff like that but we're getting rid of everything else and we went to at home and found these two containers they were $20 a piece but we got 10% off and these two shades I actually found at Goodwill maybe a couple of months ago when I was working on something and I never used them I got them for $1.99 each so the first thing that we need to do is get these guts out of these lamps So I had to have Romeo hmm. break apart this lamp. Because ah! when you get a pre-made lamp, it's kind of meant for one use. I could use all of this part, right. but I would still need to buy a new topper like this, and it would still cost us more money. Or we can just break the lamp mm -hmm. and use it. Thank you. We'll clean all this up. Okay, so now that he got all of the, like, the base off of this lamp, we can move on. I was getting so worried. So we are ready to drill a hole into our base, our tin base, um, that's now big enough to actually put the entire end, what is this called? Uh, plug through it. So it needs to be that big. Wish me luck. Okay, so here is our very not attractive hole to fit this dang big thing. And if you were using a lamp kit that just has the cord, you would just need a simple hole and that was really easy. We had to kind of make multiple holes and then bend it back, but we are gonna feed this guy through the center and then bend some of these piece, metal pieces back. And I think I'm gonna put like a pretty um, gold metallic patch on the back so that you don't even see any of this. So still works. So I'm just gonna put the plug in into the top. Uh -huh. You guys probably have the most amazing tools in the world, if you do, that will be able to make a hole big enough. I have this handy dandy $20 drill. <laughs> so for the top section, we want to secure this in place. So we are gonna make that out of clay because that's the idea that came to mind. So I have my Sculpey clay that we bake in the oven, some parchment paper. So taking your clay and something round and the same size like a rolling pin. You guys know I don't have a rolling pin so I'm gonna use literally this cleaner that I found in Jerrica's room and we're gonna flatten this out to about a quarter of an inch. So I want this clay to fit right on top of the vase. So we're kind of, we're trying to put it here along the edge. So we're gonna use this as an impression and a size. So I'm gonna flip it over. And using an X-Acto knife, I'm just gonna cut the shape just like the top of the vase. Depending on how big your top of the vase that you find is, will determine how much clay you really need. So now once we pull all these pieces away, we're gonna have, should have a perfect rectangle. So now we need to make a hole in the top of the clay in order to support this lamp stem right in the center of the vase. So I'm gonna cut this in half. So in order to make the circle, I'm gonna take a nickel and put it right in the center. 
across the slit that we just made in half and cut around it. So now we're gonna bake this in the oven at 275 for 15 minutes. So now that my clay is all dry, I'm gonna paint it to match the basis of the lamp, this metallic bronze color, and it's just acrylic paint. Okay, so these are almost dry, and they are gonna go right on top of the base and hold this guy in place. So, I'm gonna use some E6000 glue and put some glue right along the edge of the vase and then we're gonna glue it down. So just take the pieces and then just press it down right on top of the glue. So we're just gonna let all of that dry put the shade on and we're all done. this video and these thrift flips and I think we did a pretty good job on making these really pretty DIY home decor pieces with really inexpensive products but that look pretty expensive so if you guys did like this video definitely give it a thumbs up below and this is part one of a two-part series so next weekend on Sunday I will have the finale of this two-part series and you guys will be able to see how I styled these DIY thrift flips into a room that I'm designing for my friend Jerrica. So definitely hit the subscribe button below and the little notification bell so you know exactly what time I upload next Sunday. Kinsley will also be coming to redo the bedroom. She's gonna be our helper in Orange County. We'll see you guys next week. Bye guys. <laughs> you gonna make it on Santa's nice list or naughty list? Oh, you're always on the nice list.